They were called in last night to start looking into the latest officer involved shooting here in Atlanta. This is now the 48th officer involved shooting for 2020 that the GBI has been called in to investigate. And the incident unfolded last night on University Avenue at the Wendy's there in Southwest Atlanta. We have video that has been circulating on social media that shows part of that. And we just want you to watch here as um, the events unfold on video there. Someone is in a car nearby uh, videotaping the entire thing. And you see Mr. Brooks, the 27 year old struggling with police officers. And this is when we're told he broke away. He started running with one of the officers tasers. He runs out of frame, and according to the GBI, you just heard from the director, they are saying that uh, Mr. Brooks at some point ran between five to seven parking spaces and appears to have turned around and pointed that taser at one of the officers, and that's when the officer uh, fired his gun killing him. Um, he died later on at the hospital during surgery. You know, there's a, a, a Twitter, um, a tweet right now from the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. And let me read it to you right now. Uh, Georgia Bureau of Investigation says it has obtained additional video oh. from the officer involved shooting from Wendy's at the 120 hey, bro, block of University you. Avenue in Southwest Atlanta. So they have this video, Faith, obviously, uh, the one that all of us have seen uh, which is just staggering. And uh, they also have uh, another vantage point of it, apparently, with video. So uh, Director Reynolds has said that they will be releasing all of this, that uh, the public deserves the opportunity to see as much video as is available of the shooting death of Rayshard Brooks. And a lot of people in the public are already angry about what's been happening all across the country. And they've been protesting police brutality for the last two weeks or so. And this is just the latest. We don't have all the details just yet, but we have already seen uh, protesters who are already taking to the streets, especially here in downtown Atlanta this afternoon to protest what they see as an unjust use of force in this situation. We wanna head over to Centennial Olympic Park where we have our reporter, John Sherrick, who's been monitoring the situation there. Protesters have been out there for quite some time now. John, can you hear me? Yes, Faith and Jeff, the protesters have been coming and going all afternoon. Right now, there are a few protesters here, people wearing Black Lives Matters t-shirts and holding signs and really getting ready for the big crowds of protesters to return from uh, marching around downtown Atlanta, which is uh, uh, what they've been doing throughout the day. Various groups across inner city, inside the perimeter, especially protesting and marching and and um, eventually expected to meet again here at Centennial Olympic Park and in a few other areas around town. Now, you mentioned a moment ago how this case is the 48th officer-involved shooting that the GBI has investigated so far this year or is investigating so far this year. That's an average of eight a month. Now, last year, 2019, the GBI investigated 84 officer-involved shootings, about seven a month. Now, keep in mind, the GBI does not investigate all officer-involved shootings. The GBI only investigates when requested by a police department, and in this case, Atlanta police have been automatically requesting the GBI to investigate all officer-involved shootings since 2016. So that is what the GBI is doing now. And over the years, different police agencies have been more ready to ask the GBI to investigate. So those numbers have been increasing because local police departments have been asking the GBI to investigate.